grand old partisan, celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I appreciate our party's respect for women's rights. After being arrested in 1872, Susan B. Anthony boasted that she had voted for, quote, the Republican ticket, straight. This event is explained on page 119 of Back to Basics for the Republican Party. August 18, 2000, President Donald Trump hosted a ceremony on the 100th anniversary of ratification of the 19th Amendment. Introduced by a Republican senator, this landmark achievement guaranteed women the right to vote. Trump surprised everyone by pardoning Ms. Anthony. And then in a White House statement, today, President Donald J. Trump issued an executive grant of clemency, full pardon, posthumously to Susan B. Anthony, a peerless advocate of women's suffrage for a wrongful and unjust conviction stemming from the only vote she ever cast in an election. As we commemorate the centennial of the ratification of the 19th Amendment, known as the Susan B. Anthony Amendment, this grant of full clemency recognizes and pays tribute to the advocacy, perseverance, and leadership of a truly remarkable woman and an American hero. Susan B. Anthony is an American icon who has inspired millions of women across the nation through her advocacy and accomplishments, and the generations of Americans who have devoted themselves to the work of perfecting our union are forever indebted to her example and legacy. The decision to posthumously pardon Susan B. Anthony removes a conviction for exercising a fundamental American right and an and one that we as citizens will, all, will lawfully employ this November. In light of these facts, and in recognition of her historic work to improve the justice of our Constitution, the President has concluded that Susan B. Anthony is worthy of this posthumous pardon. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.